Hello, I wish to share some good news with you regarding our first publication on the use of DHEA treatment during pregnancy to reduce the risk of miscarriage. I'm happy to say that our practice is the first one to publish on this new approach to help couples who have miscarriage. This is a link to our published paper from Frontiers in Reproductive Health, and it was published today, the 4th of January, 2024. So it's got a big long title, but essentially it shows that if you give DHEA treatment to properly selected patients, you can significantly reduce the risk of miscarriage. I wanna give thanks to my team who helped to achieve this publication. It would not happen without their input. This is published in collaboration with the International Institute for Restorative Reproductive Medicine, whose goal is to identify and treat medical and surgical root causes of infertility. And we combine this with fertility cycle tracking, which is the key thing that helps to give us better outcomes. I work with the Neo-Fertility Method, which is a multiple index method using calendar, mucus, temperature, and urinary hormone assessment. We combine this with the Chart Neo Fertility app, and we get all of our couples to use this in order to guide our fertility treatment. So what did we do? Well, basically we went through three phases and did a retrospective analysis of my practice between 2009 and 2017. And in particular, I was looking at a subgroup of those with low estrogen during pregnancy. So for the first three years from 2009 to 2011, it was a time of observation. And this is where we gathered weekly blood tests for the first three weeks of pregnancy. And of all the pregnancies we saw, there was a subgroup who had low estrogen levels. And that group did worse than the rest of our, our population. So eventually, I figured after a few years of observation, why don't we give estrogen during pregnancy to try and reduce the incidence of miscarriage? And we did that for three years from 2013 until 2015. And subsequently, I developed a protocol of DHEA treatment uh, for the next three years from 2015 to 2017. My current practice is to identify and treat DHEA deficiency before couples conceive. So at this point, I'm giving even less DHEA treatment during pregnancy than I was at that time. This is a unique opportunity to look back over how the practice evolved and how effective DHEA treatment was on its own. What is DHEA? It's a big long name for dehydroepiandrosterone, and it's an essential building block for reproductive hormones, estrogen primarily for women and testosterone for men. DHEA is naturally higher in women who have polycystic ovaries, and it's often deficient for those who have sleep deprivation, high levels of stress, extremes of exercise or a very busy life. Teachers are one group in particular that I've observed very commonly have low DHEA levels. So as part of the process, we developed a, a normal curve for estradiol levels during pregnancy. And we looked at 104 pregnancies that were full term um, singleton pregnancies ending in live birth that weren't treated with estrogen or DHEA. So we have that graph in the body of our paper, and that's an image of the graph that we use. And on the left is the level of estradiol in picomoles per liter. And along the bottom, we go from positive pregnancy test of week four to five uh, up to about 33 weeks, because beyond that, we often find we didn't need to persist with measuring and um, DHEA treatment beyond that stage. So the key points I want to share with you regarding this paper are that this treatment is for women with low estradiol in pregnancy. So it's a subgroup of those in pregnancy where we detect estradiol is not behaving like it should. Um, uh, the DHEA dramatically improved low estradiol levels to a high degree of statistical significance. And the third point is that the risk of miscarriage was reduced from 45.5% down to just 17.5% with this intervention. So it's an almost threefold swing, uh, which is a significant positive impact for those at risk pregnancies. And this is the first paper showing the benefits of DHEA treatment during pregnancy. Nobody else has published on giving DHEA during pregnancy. 
So what do we do? Well, I recommend that you do a blood test to measure progesterone, estradiol and HCG every week for the first three weeks of pregnancy. This can give you a good idea how pregnancy is progressing. It's a good idea to measure DHEA and testosterone for one of those blood tests as well. If estradiol is low and if HCG levels are rising at an acceptable level, then the person is suitable for fertility treatment with DHEA. So <clears throat> this is how we started off giving DHEA. I looked at a paper published by Dr. Jerome Check almost 30 years ago in 1992, and he published a paper that showed women with miscarriage had much lower estrogen levels. So he, he showed what normal estrogen levels were, he showed that what the miscarriage levels were, and then in the green column, um, I came up with the idea, well, why don't we treat these if we're at this particular level? I've documented the numbers in picomoles uh, for those who work with the SI units, and then the picograms is in the second column. And look at this. Um, this is looking at a group of 52 women who had estradiol treatment and looking at 40 women who had DHEA treatment. And you can see the way these arrows go, there was a huge impact from the DHEA on serum estradiol levels on a population basis relative to what um, uh, estrogen treatment would achieve. And we found that the average level went from 33% up to 90% of normal values, which is hugely statistically significant by giving DHEA treatment during pregnancy. On an individual basis, women who would receive just estrogen to try and support the pregnancy would often have persistent low estradiol levels and levels could be up to four times higher for women who had received DHEA treatment. It was dramatically different. So the graph here on the left shows the normal level where estradiol levels should be. And this is a woman treated with um, estradiol tablets, oral estrogen, and had a very poor uh, impact on normalizing the levels compared to the other graph where we gave DHEA and it dramatically restored normal levels. So that's the kind of impact you can get. And if our thinking is that low estrogen is associated with miscarriage and poor pregnancy outcomes, then normalizing estrogen levels by treating DHEA deficiency is the most efficient way to do that. And then our third point is that the incidence of miscarriage went from 45.5% down to just 17.5%. Now, admittedly, our numbers are low, but that's why we have statistical tools where we achieve statistical significance. And these numbers would show, despite the low numbers involved, that it is a real scientific effect from the DHEA. I've no doubt from what I've observed clinically because uh, of, of what I can see in my patients, but it's a different level of proof to prove it on a population basis and achieve statistical significance. And we've done that in this group. So again, this is the first paper showing the benefits of DHEA treatment during pregnancy. Uh, we know that DHEA improves egg quality preconception. And now with this paper, we recommend that you can continue it in appropriate patients to maintain optimum estrogen levels during pregnancy. Absolutely. This is just a first early pilot study with small numbers, so more studies are needed. But this paper offers real hope to women with their current miscarriages, especially those who have low estrogen levels. Future studies may show that DHEA can reduce the risk of premature delivery as well. And I have a case report in process to demonstrate that point. So thank you for watching this presentation, and um, I hope you find it interesting, and I encourage you to go to Frontiers in Reproductive Health um, to look up our paper. I'll put the link down below. Thank you.